We, we, we are not the dignitaries. We are the non-dignitaries no, yeah. here. But He's it, uh, family. It should be fun. Exactly. He's family. He's family to you. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am great. I'm great. So it's a roller weather, coaster. It's weather. It is. It is. <laughs> and I'm usually not a freeze baby. Mm. Oh, really? Today? Oh, I, am. I admit mm. I am. Yeah. So this is kind of uh, mm. something. We ended up hitting 59 officially. Mm. We were just chatting about this. So it's the coolest late high that we've oh, had high. in 32 years. Wow. If we would have hit 60, we would not have had this to talk about. But since we were officially 59 today. Oh, my today, goodness. So 1992. All right. And don't think I didn't have to do it. Yeah. <laughs> A little math myself. I mean, that's, that's really something. So uh, that puts it in some perspective. 60, this also puts it in perspective, is the average low for today. So we were cooler than where we should start the day on June 10th. 79 is the average high, and we were obviously a far cry from that with records today in the 90s. And I say that because we're not too far from that either. Wait till you see the seven-day forecast. In the meantime, weather impact over this evening and overnight into tomorrow is minimal. We're looking at skies starting to clear. Partly cloudy skies, you should see some sunshine before it sets, then we'll clear out overnight. It's gonna be chilly with the clear skies and then a little bit of a rebound for tomorrow. I'll show you what I mean. But if you're cooking dinner and getting things ready to go, you might wanna mosey on over to the TV so that you don't miss the seven day forecast. Most of you are in the 50s right now. It is 61 downtown. It's definitely a sweatshirt or jacket kind of night if you're heading out. And the heat is out there, that's for sure. To our south and west, these are current temperatures and we're seeing 80s. Nothing to compare to what we will see as we look ahead. Over the next several hours, we will notice those temperatures falling back through the 50s and close to 50 degrees by midnight tonight and then into the 40s as we start tomorrow. So we'll track and on our National Design Mart forecast, notice as we get into the start of your Tuesday, even some low 40s for tomorrow morning. So that is cold, no question. The rebound is quite beautiful. Tomorrow we will be close to 70. Granted, it's not the upper 70s that we expect this time of the year but it's an improvement. And then that continues heading into Wednesday as highs will end up in the low 80s. Speaking of which, as we look at average highs over the next four Mondays, by the first week of July, we're looking at average highs around 84 degrees, four Mondays from now, right? Remember that when you see the extremes that are coming at you because literally we're gonna call it some pre-summer heat wave action as we get into the next seven days and fast forward to the weekend. So this is Saturday and we're warm, but we're not hot Sunday. This is when the heat really starts to build and we see that continue as we head into the start of next week. And my gosh, it is really extreme. So much so that uh, if you don't have AC, we'll be talking about things like cooling centers and whatnot as we head into next week. Here's your Medina Country Club seven day outlook and uh, tomorrow's high, like I said, 71, still not the close to 80, but it's a perfect day. There's no way else to say that. 82 on Wednesday, then it's late Thursday into Friday that we bring in some rain chances. Saturday's pleasant. Here comes heat on Sunday, upper 80s. 95 wow. over from today. And that's just the start of it. It looks like we'll have a little stretch of 90s heading into next week. And that's before the official start of summer, too. Mm. Whew. All, All right. right, let's go. We will be wearing these. <laughs> no. Thanks, Holly. Yeah.